Okay, so we're finishing up, wrapping up the wing here. We've got the wing skin down, control surfaces are installed. Uh, the wing is still on the rotisserie here in the garage, but uh, fuel tank's been installed. Um, really, right now, all I need to do is complete the wing tips, and then we're ready to start priming and painting. But let's talk about wing tips real quick. This is the standard wing tip for the Bearhawk. It's just a rounded wing tip. Carbon fiber. It does the job. And gives it about maybe eight, nine inches to the uh, total wing length. So I decided to go with the Horner wing tip, which is gonna give it about an extra 18 inches per side, total another three feet uh, for total wingspan. So it looks like the wingspan on the Bearhawk is gonna be about a total of 36 feet. Let's go take a look at the Horner wing tips. So here we have the Horner wing tips. 18 inches each and what happens here is not only do we physically get an extra length to the wing we're getting an effective wing length is increased as well this graphic here should show you what that means the leading edges will have uh, Baja uh, surface mount LED lights, they will function as recognition lights. And then we have a pad up here on the top, or actually will be on the side, for the nav and strobe lights. So I did have to do a couple modifications to the wingtips after I received them. Uh, as you can see here, I had to install a rib. It just was not going to be sufficient without some sort of support internally. and. Uh, that just was so necessary. Uh, that's a piece of Luan, quarter inch, very lightweight, almost like a balsa wood. So in addition to the rib that I added to the inside of each of these, I discovered that these wing tips were actually one inch too short. So here's the solution I'm going to use to uh, extend the trailing edge of the wing tip so that it matches the aileron. This is all cosmetic and it's just adding more work to the job, but it needed to be done. So I took a piece of 025 aluminum and basically cut it with little tabs like this, and then I plunge cut into the back of the trailing edge, and then I was able to insert the aluminum as such, and then I'm using a, a Scotch weld to hold that in place. So really the best way to build that up is to take some pink foam uh, and then just insert it over the aluminum. It'll look like this. And next I'll just epoxy resin this foam into place. Once that cures, then we can start going over the top of this and sanding and filling that in until it actually matches the shape of the airfoil. Hey guys, so the wing tip extensions are completed. Uh, we've got the filler, like two types of filler I used on these. Um, so I think it came out pretty decent. Could have done a better job, but uh, we're moving pretty quick now. I gotta get things wrapped up. So we have two types of filler. Uh, this is super fill made by uh, polyfiber. It's an epoxy filler. So that was the base in which to build up from the foam is the blue. And uh, that's really strong, doesn't shrink or crack. And then to finish it out, to kind of smooth everything in, I use this auto body icing with this uh, kicker catalyst stuff here. And that just really feathers everything out nicely. So next step is primer. And then we will go ahead and uh, 
Start prepping the wing for paint. I'm gonna have to clean it, etch it, prime it, and then paint it. At the point that we prime, we're gonna lay out the uh, paint scheme, the red leading edge with the red wing tips and the black quarter inch pen striping. So here we are, we're ready to go to paint and uh, hopefully get this moving. All right guys, thanks for watching. This is just a quick video. I've got a lot of things going on. Uh, we're building a house out of the Lake Norman Air Park, so that's taking up a lot of our time. Uh, plus I'm selling this place, so that means the skinny long garage here is gonna be gone. Uh, I need to get everything out. I need to finish up this airplane project so I can focus on this house project. I can't be doing a house and an airplane both at the same time while working and everything else, life, all of that. So, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.